I seen it all. Move to the birds, I got it all. Got it all. Give me the ball, I get it all. Go. Pass me the rock, I get it all. Yeah, I do it all. Yeah, I do it all. Yeah, I do it all. Yeah, I come from the hood, I seen it all. Yo, what's good? We in the spot. Do it all podcast. We in here with my beautiful co-host Deanna Rich Star. Check in, check in, Deanna hey. Rich Star. Hey, what's good, TXB Taylor? Phenomenal. Hey, hey always no, phenomenal. I'm always phenomenal. You know hey. that. Can y'all hear me though? Same. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, Same. you know what's crazy though is I've had the pleasure to follow you on Instagram, and like you're so inspirational with all your workouts, and it's very intense too. What most people don't know is that you're a very intense person when it comes <laughs> to the workout side of things. You know, everybody think when they think about a female trainer, oh, you know, ah. Uh, but with you, it's like, nah, it's gritty. You know what I'm saying? It's mud work. You know, can we elaborate a little bit on that? Where you get that attitude from? Where you where where does that come from? It's not I wouldn't necessarily say it's an attitude, it's more of a confident thing. Yeah. You know, um, I'm not gonna tell you that I've always had this confidence, but when you continue to keep elevating your brand, you got to be the only one that show up for you. That's They're not going to understand that. Only you do, you know? So I walk it and I talk it. Hey, so, 1,000. That's just what it is, you 1, know? 1,000. Humbly. Yeah. So so your Instagram or your you go by TXB? or I go by Coach Taylor B. Originally. Coach Taylor B? My brand is TXB. And yeah. what does that stand for? So TXB stands for Total Extreme Body, but okay, it's not so. necessarily what it sounds like. It's literally mindset. Um, from um, healthy living and everything that you can think of in a health and wellness field. You know, um, probably mm, three weeks solid now, I just dropped that, a health and wellness app. Go crazy. You know, so I want them to understand that. Oh, thank you so much. I, I want them to understand that I wasn't playing. Yeah. Like, I wasn't playing yeah. from the beginning. Like, I'm just like, it's really, really levels to this. Um, just like it's levels to take everything to the max with your, your with yourself, you know, so. Now, you said that you weren't always as confident. So how did you get to this level? What what drove you? Where were you at that place? Um, and how did you overcome that? And how did you become that confident? Um, I can say when I was fresh, fresh out of high school, you know, um, and moving to Northern California by myself. And I, I had my cousins and stuff there like that. But, I mean, they were older, so... You know, just living on your own will humble the hell out of you if you don't have a clear direction of what you mm -hmm. want to do. Um, with myself, um, finding that direction and finding that path and wanted to just, I was really seeking to be the best version of myself. There you go. Um, and I wasn't scared to take that leap of faith because you really got to take that calculated risk no matter what. There you go. You know, I didn't have no, uh, my parents behind me to support me go. or anything like that, you know, so I just had to jump on it on my own, even if I felt. Plenty of times I always stuck with it to where it's just like, you know what? If I fail, I got to get up and I got to keep pushing. Yes. You know, I didn't have that, oh, I support you. People around me was laughing at me. Yes. And all I wanted to do was just be in shape. Like, I was just like, yo, I'm not getting out of shape. Originally, I went to San Francisco to play basketball. Go crazy. Didn't happen. They started messing with my uh, scholarships. Yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to physical therapy field. Stuck with the kinesiology field. And I was just like, I want to be more than that. I know, like, being a physical therapist, a doctor of physical therapy, it's all solid, but I want to stay in shape, too, you know? But both of them come hand in hand, and I didn't understand that just yet until, like, my second semester, you know? And um, you, uh, I became very solid with my counselor. She was just like, yo, maybe you should take, a like, a college success class. That taught me credit. Didn't know nothing about it. That taught me everything I needed to know to be an adult. So mm -hmm. me putting all these puzzle pieces together, I was just like, man, I got to make this shit make sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got to make it make sense. I couldn't call my mom. I couldn't call my dad. Yep. They, they didn't know what type of time I was on because they yep. wasn't there to even try to support. I didn't understand that back then. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the fact that my mom didn't want to support me. It was just the fact that she didn't even know how. Yeah. You right. know? So with me, I'm just like, shit. You know, I, I had to carry that mindset. I always had that mindset, just staying motivated. You know, but along the line... I, didn't, I felt like I was in a position to where I was just like, I had to hide that confidence to really keep going because I went out there for one reason and one reason only while my other friends was around me lying and laughing at me type shit, you know? Yeah. 
And with me, I just stuck to the script. I was just like, I came out here for this reason, and I'm finishing strong. So when I moved back to the city, I'm like, yo, okay, I got to this level. Where, what else can I do? Continued on with school. I went. I transferred out of a one another school because I literally used to live down the street from this place. Yeah, literally, nope. <laughs> like right down the street. Yeah. So I'm just like, okay. Honestly, I felt like I've been failing forward this entire time. So I'm just like, man, like me building things to get, like building my brand together itself. Like I've had so many setbacks and I feel like I'm still having setbacks, but it's all making sense. It's the reason why this shit is happening. It's just like, okay, like things happen for a reason. And me moving around within the, like literally like a six year time frame, I'm like starting all over again, starting all over again. But, um, in 16, that's when I really was just like, 2016 is when I really uh, realized I was like, yo. Nah, I'm I'm tired. I'm tired of not winning. It's and twenty. I'm sorry to cut you. It's 2016 when you moved out here. I moved. Um, I'm I was here and I ended up moving to Bakersfield. Where is that? At? Bakersfield is like literally one hour away from here. It's okay. like towards surpass the valley. Okay. So with me, I'm like, I, it's like I had to start all over again. I felt like I fell into like a dark hole. But you need to, you know, sometimes rewind. Exactly. And you need to chill out a little bit and you got to recuperate, yeah. boot up, and then go crazy. Absolutely. So with me, um, I still had, it was like confidence just building up, building up there slowly but surely. And I was just like, you know what? Be down with everybody else is talking about. I'm going to do it my way and my way only. And then from there on out, I just, I, I always, you know, just stayed to myself for a, like damn near a couple years. And um, just leveled the hell up, and I and I wanted everybody to watch me le- uh, level up in each different level. And from there on now, I'm still leveling up. It's 2022. And I'm still okay. taking. I'm still sitting on niggas' necks at this point. <laughs> so where? You feel know I me? Mean? So I think you've already said it. But where where are you from? I'm from here, and. Bakersfield at the same time. But so I grew up in moved, both cities. You moved here and and then I end up going back. But my mom. My mom is the only person that lives in Bakersfield. All my family is here. Oh, it's a mindset. My mom. It sounds it's, like it's gone. It's yeah. the mindset for me. You know what I'm saying? If that's that's the female you just have say, to keep going. Like yeah. just imagine you not. You have to do this. You doing it in the dark. Like it's like you yeah. in the shadow. Come on right? now. So and even how I met you. Yeah. And we just happened to to link up and and train, but you realize in real life, like, yo, that, oh, okay, the, this is who she really is. No, life. for real. And like, this is she's not playing. Like, this you, is really her personality. Believe in real it life. or not, believe <laughs> it or not, like for real, I literally told people every single time I was like, look, meeting you are is like a different breed. You know, a different breed of competitiveness. You know, what I'm saying, a different breed of motivation because. You know, you really are one of those people who really have taken this to the next level and there's it's not a game to it. Yeah. It's like most people come with, with a joystick. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, they toy around with their brand. They toy around with how they take care of themselves or they toy around with they, with other little small things in their life. They may go out and party or drink a lot or something like that, but this is not a game. And I think that shows and a lot of stuff that you're doing when you're talking about being at the next level of something. And that's why I think it was important that you were that you were here today because like like you the truth. You the truth when it comes to female brand building, influence, and working out. And you the next wave and people need to hear from you. You know, yeah. people need to see you in person. People need to see need to see you and what you really like because this is this is this is I, an action. I feel like they will still never get it though you know so, um for that reason i just feel that you know people are on the next big thing you know you know at this point y'all y'all already know what type of time it is when it comes down to social media it's weird outside it's <laughs> but with that being said why fitness i understand you said you play basketball but you with this drive and you know with this momentum and you could do anything. But so why did you choose fitness? Why did you f- choose nutrition? Um, I've been around it my entire life, but I didn't understand how important nutrition and a different type of level of training really meant until I really uh, towards towards I could say like towards the end of my my high school year, I didn't understand it until my coach was like, "You guys are trash." My coach told us, you guys are trash. Why are you guys performing like this? 
Like literally, this was that was it. My my senior year, that's it. That's it. That's you don't have no more high school after that. If you want to take it to the next level, you want to get a full ride scholarship somewhere, have everything paid for. You need to be on top of your game. So that really kind of sparked it. So when I did move, and I, I I moved for obviously a reason to play ball, and everything went left, I stuck with that. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, like I'm by myself. I know how to cook, but it's just like, okay, at this point, what do I do now? I have my own place, you know. Um, now I need to stay in shape. I told myself two things. <laughs> I'm not getting big and I'm sure. not getting pregnant. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting That's pregnant. Important. That's two important. That's important. That I stuck with. That's literally. important. 18 years old. 18 years old. Mm-hmm. Living yeah. on my own, like figuring out Same. my way in San Francisco. Yeah, you know, 15. in certain areas, it's not even that. Like, it's shit you need to really pay attention to. Like, it's just like, yo, I'm walking around. I'm 18 years old. Like, but I had a different type of mentality. I always felt like I was kind of ahead of my time. Same. You know, I wasn't yeah. scared of anything. I was fearless. Same. I can't. I couldn't live in fear. You know, you I was go. just like, you know what? I'm going to school. I, go to, I went to school full time, working two full jobs. Me too. You know? Yeah. Me too. Didn't know nothing. Like, I was just like, man, I just got to make this money. I got to pay this rent. Same. I didn't live on campus. I didn't do none of that. I was just like, I came out here to accomplish this mission. I'm behind it with you. I did not do well my freshman year in school because I didn't know how to balance that. But mm. to go back to when I was just like, I was cool with my counselor. And she told me to go to her college success class. And when she taught me about credit, she taught me about balance. And balance is what stuck to me till this day mm. of how I'm able to keep elevating, keep leveling up my brand, um, keep doing different things. Even me starting all over again with TXB last year when I dropped literally three different... <laughs> commercials, videos, and merch, all of that in one year. Mm. Crazy. That's crazy. So <laughs> elaborate a little bit on the TXB brand. Like, what is that like? What is that? You know? So I want people to understand, like, TXB is both athletic and casual, mm. you know. Um, I wanted to expand it, and I didn't, I, want, I didn't want them to just think that it was just only fitness and health. I'm like, mm. no, health and wellness together itself is – a broad thing. It's an umbrella mm-hmm. from mindset. We all need personal development. Mm-hmm. I started de- um, doing personal development in 2017. It's when mm-hmm. I really started doing like speaking, motivational speaking, right? So mindset to just like, you know, a healthy lifestyle, just being yourself, being mm-hmm. authentic and organic. Like I normally like mm-hmm. to say, you know, one day I feel like I want to be in regular clothes and another day I'm, I'm back in the gym. Yeah. So I wanted to expand it. I don't, I don't want it to just stay stay in one category. That's mm-hmm. not what it is. You know, total extreme body. You want to look good in regular clothes too? We don't go crazy in a gym just to sit there and be looking good in gym clothes. Yeah. I came out with tees. I came out with bathing suits because I, <laughs> you know, I look great in bathing suits, you yeah. know? Yeah. I wanted everything. Yeah. I still want everything to this day, you mm-hmm. know? And I'm thinking of ways. I'm thinking of different designs and stuff like that. When I'm about to come up with the collection of 2022. Yeah. I'm like, yo, like, it, it, some, hey, something has to give in his life. And I'm like, and I'm not about to limit myself for anything. There you go. Come on now. Where can we purchase this yeah. merchandise, baby? TXB. TXB? Apparel.com. Hey, we got to own. Repeat oh. that. Re- wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this ain't no, this Repeat ain't no, it. This ain't no goddamn GoDaddy. This ain't yeah. no GoDaddy. This shit going no, on. This, no. this, this, <laughs> this is real <laughs> life. It's literally on know? Shopify. Okay. Hey, look. <laughs> and I believe it. And I, and I can say that without even knowing. You know, For because real. I Website, can only... Oh, if you get the app, you can, you can get it from the app. Like, yeah. <laughs> so. I know it's real. It's I know really it's real. real. It's really For me, real. like, personally... Working out at one point in time, I would say last year, I would run every single morning. Every single morning. That was my way. I was going through so much in my life. And running would free my mind. I went to college. I studied nutritional science as well. You know, I played basketball as well. And being athletic just, like, literally, it clears my mind. Eating right, it makes me feel better. Like, honestly, like, when I eat bad food, I really can tell the difference. You can tell. Healthy, I feel so much better. And people need to know these things because you will really feel better if you change your diet. Everything. I stopped eating meat when I was in high school. I probably haven't ate meat for almost 12 years, probably 13, 14, 15 years now since I was in high school. Mm -hmm. You're having a balanced nutrition, working out. You feel so much better. And I personally, uh, which is not good, I work so much and I'm, I'm grinding as well, but my sleep sometimes isn't there. But if I eat right, if I eat right and I work out, I feel so much better. Mm-hmm. And even sometimes I don't have time to work out because of my busy schedule, even though I got a new trainer, so I'm back in, 
back in the gym. But just eating it right in general just makes me feel so much better. Mm -hmm. And also taking the, the correct supplements. Right. You know? Everything doesn't have to be necessarily just supplements, too. But you're, you're right, though. When like, I'm missing when it comes something. To, yeah, when you are missing, you know, we don't always get all the, the minerals and um, our recommended daily allowance um, from just, because I'm plant-based as well. Yeah, especially yeah. with our diet. Yeah. And for so long, <laughs> I was not getting what I needed from my diet. I was so tired and so sluggish. Mm -hmm. I was missing supplements. So when you're working out, like, how do you feel? Like, what makes you, what? What's that high that you get that high as well? I would assume when you're working out. Um, How as far as for like uh, as far as for like what what gets me out of bed? Like what gets you me? out of bed? Yes, my why. I tell people that's what keep that's what kept me going for almost well almost almost a decade. Yeah, getting up, showing up, no matter what. I always have to. I know that we're humans, so we all have flashbacks and you mm -hmm. know certain events that probably like will literally put you in a tragic moment. Mm -hmm. To where it's just like, okay, like, that's just a reminder. All the setbacks and all the failures and everything, it's literally a clear reminder of why you need to keep going. You don't want to experience all the other stuff, right? You don't want to keep, you don't want to repeat this, the, 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 like, you know, the, the things that you went through with your, your family. Mm -hmm. I want to do better. I want to be better. So gotcha. I know I had to do better. I had to be greater. And I have to show up every single day, 365 days out of the year, Go whether crazy. I'm sick, whether I have the flu. I've had moments where, you know, um, I had flu and stuff like that. I still went to the gym. I was like, man, I'm going to sweat this shit out. Well, let's I'm talk about that. that. You being the flu, COVID. So during COVID-19, I personally, my gym was closed. So I had, I lived in a high rise. So I did the stairs. And then from there, you know, my mindset, I was home alone. I was working from home. So, you know, that can play a role on your mental health Absolutely. as well. So I would start walking and I'll be thinking, I'll be listening to different shows about, you know, uh, financial advice and just like mm -hmm. skincare and health. Mm -hmm. So during COVID, like how did that affect your career? Um, it didn't because yeah. I never stopped. There you go. I made a way like, uh, I'm like, all right, well, my clients ain't going to wear. So I guess we're just going to take everything to the park. There we go. I was working at the park every <laughs> We did take everything to the park. Yep. Like that's there like, we go. I, I was working. Literally, I was working full time. I had a full time right. job. Right. And training still my own my own personal business, still my entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. There you go. I never stopped working throughout the entire thing. And I never caught it. I go. never had COVID ever. Yeah. You know, I think it's important that especially during out that throughout the whole time when you were definitely building brands and you're doing everything during COVID and the way you can stay positive yeah. by just working out. Bro, and keeping your me. and keeping your mind just really locked in. Help it's me. everything that you really want to do. Because I really feel like most people lose lose their balance when they lose their diet, when they yeah. lose yep. their their workout appetite. 100%. Because I've had moments for myself where, like, when I've woke up in the morning and I found myself, all right, I need to do this, I need to do that, but everything just feel like it's, like, in a tornado. You know what I'm saying? Everything's you. flirt. Like, unbalanced. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, unbalanced. But once I go and I go get myself right, you know what I'm saying? That's why now... Every time when I wake up in the morning, I don't care if I do a, if I do a hike, if it's running, if it's something, I'm getting up in the morning, I'm going to do a workout or do something so I can calm my mind down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it calms me at a certain point to where I say, all right, I've accomplished this. I've accomplished my body. I've accomplished my temple. Now what's next? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, okay, oh, yeah, I got, I got my real estate. I got my music. I'm acting. I'm doing all these other things. I have to literally start knocking them down one at a time off a list, but when it's all cluttered and, you know, in a big ass conglomerate and you just letting it all just flurry on you, then that's when things become a lot worse. So like for you, like doing a workout thing, like she was saying, like, does that bring an extra calmness to you by getting that workout? It in? is definitely therapy for me. Yeah. Um, I don't look at it as this training, like training is training, mm -hmm. but it's the therapeutic part of me where I'm just like, okay, like, we I already have the goals like every every month. The goals is already written out two weeks in advance. Yeah, it's, I already know what I need to do every <laughs> single day. You know, I just pin it in, pin yeah. in other new things that people come and I'm like, okay, we, you want a book? Okay, cool. I just pin it in, cool. But it's just like it just uh, once you learn and take the time out to master your balance, mm -hmm. it's a game changer. I, I I took the time to master that, but I've already mastered my balance before COVID hit. Mm -hmm. Did nobody see COVID coming? No, we didn't know. We didn't know it was gonna come here. You know, you know? honestly, <laughs> tell you the truth, on some you know? real deal, I feel bad 
about people who were really affected by COVID because I'm yeah, one of those blessed. people. I wasn't. It like, was high for me. Like, really. It was the best like, for me. Best come on now. Like, I really feel like COVID was at a certain time of my life where I damn near, like, I even gave more praise to God. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Where 100%. I was just like, me and God became closer. Me and my family became closer. Um, yeah, like we were already super duper close, yeah. but it was just but it, like you, now that you guys everything didn't, enhanced you, exactly, like because everybody was inside. Yeah, everybody was inside, and with me, I'm gonna look at it. I'm looking at the 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 side the solid things of what COVID did. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna look at the bad. Like I, I of course I was praying for my family, my mom. My mom was still working full time. She's still working full time to this day. You know. I'm obviously scared about that, but the thing is, I felt like it got people to sit their asses down. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you want to do? You in the house, all you have is to get creative. All you have to do is play with your kids. All you have to do is literally all you have is your family around you. With me, I got stupid locked in. Like I'm talking about on a completely different note. Mm -hmm. I was already locked in already, but I'm talking about, okay, Every day I'm walking in and out my <laughs> in and out or if I'm at the if I'm at my job, I come home. OK, uh, whiteboards. I got like six of them at home all written. Like all of them was already written down. Like mm. I have different things. People think that I'm crazy still to this day because I still got them. You're and I still to have, have all this written down. What? You because have I have different it, other gotta... things that I have to do. Mm. Yep. You know, now I just added the sixth one because now I have an app. Mm -hmm. Now I still have to deal with, you know, just my, my clothing. Now I still have to do, oh, yeah, let's let's go back to YouTube and, and deal with the personal development. Mm -hmm. I have so many different things going on, but I felt like that got me locked in even more to do more research. Mm -hmm. Oh, what vendor do I want to go through now? Or how can I be better in my brand? Like, obviously, nobody messes with me in real life when it comes down to, like, my, my stuff until they really want to see, it's, it's see somebody in it. I know it sucks to say that, but oh, it only takes one person to get in your brand for it to, to blow the hell up. And I hate it for it to be that way because if you do know that person in real life, you know how hard that person works. Mm -hmm. It's just like, damn, that person really deserves it all. In mm -hmm. my mind, I, de I know I deserve to be exactly where I need to be at and right. where I'm going. Exactly. You know, But I'm just I'm grateful and humble. Um, all I got to do is just keep going, showing up consistently. Yeah. And I, that's what I've been doing for literally eight years. Consistency. Consistency, yeah. consistency is consistency. key. And I tell people that. But it's not only just consistency. It's discipline. There you go. It's the discipline behind that because you have to have the discipline to wake up and go after what you need to go after. If you don't have that, you can be consistent. That's cool. But if you don't have the discipline to stay locked into what you need to be locked in on, then what are you doing? With that being said, what is your uh, most important wellness advice you can give to anyone? You know, um, My biggest key of what I will always say, if you do not take the time out to change your mindset, and take the time out to work towards your nutrition, nothing is going to change. You have to be willing to change your mindset first in order for everything else to change. That is key. Yep. You know, you have to have your mind right. It's it's not with just, oh, it's not what you just, you're eating. You have to have the mindset to be able to be like, okay, let me put down those chips. Let me get some fruit instead. It's a mind mm -hmm. thing. Everything is a mindset, number one. And you just go from there. One hundred percent. That's that's definitely with life, you know. <laughs> Everything put down. It's a choice. Yeah, everything choice. we do in this life is a choice. I don't think people. You know? I think people low key need to hear that one more time because there's so many different things in life that people don't understand because it's a choice, and you and people don't understand that every single day you wake up from a moment you literally brushing your teeth, from eating breakfast. From getting out of the house to go grab something from the store, everything is literally a, a, a choice. choice. It's like literally it's you never choice. stop making choices from the moment you open up your eyes. Don't. If you want to watch something on Netflix, if you want to watch this, and it's a choice every single time. And I hate when people act like they're they don't not have a choice. They, exactly. <laughs> but on like top of that, choice. It like it's a choice. Nah, it's a choice to sit down and watch TV, or it's a choice. Take your ass to the gym. Hey, can you know what? I'm going to hate to touch on this topic, but I have to because we're talking about choice right now. <laughs> we're talking about choice. <laughs> and choice. I remember when my dog Kanye said mm -hmm. this, right? He said, slavery was a choice. Like, I just like, that That resonated with me because it's one thing about this. That's a very tough subject, right? It is. 
it's a tough subject because we look back on our ancestors and we say how many years of slavery, how many years of this and how many years of that. But when we talk about choices in life, do we have, do we have certain choices with some things or some things choose us? We definitely have that. We definitely have that choice. And I understood what Kanye said because people think that he's crazy, but he's really not. Mm -hmm. Like, he has his own way of thinking, Mm -hmm. and all you have to do is respect it. Mm -hmm. You can't sit there. That's what's wrong with this world today. Judgmental. What what are you judging for? You're you're choosing to judge, right? right? right. You're you're still choosing to judge, just like how we have a choice Mm -hmm. of everything, you know? And I'm not even going to touch back a base on, on, on Kanye. I'm just saying what I'm saying. Like, it's just like everything that we do in this life is a choice. It's a choice to go after success mm-hmm. or it's a choice to settle. Mm-hmm. With that being said, you know? who inspired you? We, I understand we had this choice, you know, but someone had to inspire us to even, you know, to set an example. Was it was there an example for you? Was there inspiration for you? No. Or it was just a drive to just be successful and just be fit and feel good. It was a choice to be my greatest self. There you go. 100%. <laughs> I didn't and, and, and to this day I know I'm I may sound crazy to to the outer world to a, the no. other eye no. to have someone I I didn't have you know anyone around me to inspire me. I had people that I respected. There you go. Two people, two individuals that are respected to the highest most that's no longer here. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's Nipsey Hussle and that's Kobe Bryant, yeah. you know. And I felt like I related to them so much because what they stood for and what they did, you know, they took that leadership role yeah. and they owned it. There you go. And they yeah. did everything they could, like Nip with the with the hustle mentality. Like, you got to hustle for this. Kobe with the with the nonstop grind. Like you got to grind for this. Same thing. I still I got th- t- those two individuals tattered on me. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I felt like those are the only per- people that I felt like that understood exactly what, what it was, what it took. What are you going to do? Are you, re- are you ready to risk it all? Or are you ready to just like, oh, I kind of I kind of want to take that risk or I kind of want to do that. Mm-hmm. And that's you know? where you have to be fearless. Being fearless exactly. is so important. You know, there's things, you know, I might be shook by something. I am not going to think that. I'm not going to mot- like keep dwelling of on it. You know, I'm not you know? Gonna, you know? just go ahead and do it. And if you fall, hey. You got to get right back up and do it again. No, that's a mindset. <laughs> that's literally. Those, are two, those two people are definitely two of the definitely most monumental people that's definitely walked this earth. You know, me personally, like, a, as a Kobe fan, you know, I was always a LeBron guy. You know what I'm saying? But to watch what Kobe did and what he stood for was also a different type of mentality yeah. that took a different type of monster. Like, if you want to say if LeBron had a little bit more Kobe in him, you know what I'm saying? Would he have eight rings by now? You know what I'm saying? Or nine? Like, because Kobe just had a mentality. He had a mentality. A, a, a mentality that was a out mindset. of his world. That's exactly. Just to be like, nobody's going to stop me. And I'm going to work as hard. And then when I get in the chance to show you the work that I've been putting in, you're going to get all this work. You're going to get every last bit sh- of it. And, and, it's, and it's going to show for itself. And, hey, and you're going to show. Facts, <laughs> facts. In and, your opinion, why do 2% per, uh, exceed and 98% don't? 98% of those people are exceed not. Exceed and succeed. Exceed and succeed. I'm just going to go to, I'm going to talk to this, the, the, the big number first. All right. Okay. They don't. Because they're not willing to take that leadership role and they're not willing to take those calculator risks. The other 2%, right? You said 2%? Are willing to risk it all. I'm, I feel like I'm, one, I'm, I'm inside the 2%. Because if this, the, 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 the way this world works and their, their, their type of mentality, they, it's just like they just, at this point, I feel like everybody lazy. You know, I, I sit back and I be like, yo, y'all. Y- y'all gonna get in a different do you type want of it? way. Do you no, want no, no. It, I mean, it's it's solid, but they get in a different type of way. There's other other things to exactly. this. Exactly. <laughs> There's other things to it's this. You're so not many. getting it out the mud. You're not getting it out the trenches. You're not you're not getting Real it organically. Life, which is like why this. I say a gra- uh, everything is organic with me. Yeah. Organic because I'm like I know what it takes. I yeah. know I I I've been there like and I'm still there. A and I can people, humbly say that. A lot of people literally, and it's 2022, you watch so many people take the take the back road. You know what I'm saying? Not the road that's really like, that's the nitty gritty, like back in the day, like when you really wanted something, there was no way of, oh, I'm going to come in this way and come through the back door of this and 
boom, boom, and do all these other different little antics. Now, people right now in 2020 just trying to go viral. You know what I'm saying? They just want to go viral for something to get them where they want to be so they don't have to do half the work. You know what I'm saying? And, oh, yeah, and when I get to this certain point, all I got to do is do this, and then everything else is going to take care of itself. It's, it's much more and, to that topic. Like and it, It's it's much more to it, that. It, it's, it's a dirty game. We live <laughs> it in it. Right? It's a dirty game. It is. And it's right so now, bad. And it's changed, <laughs> it's changed the mindsets of so many people into where there's the 98% is crazy. Because it's so many more people, and it's it's social media. It is social media is out right now, so you can see everybody showing they ass, literally, and like you know what I'm saying metaphorically. You know what I'm saying to get to where they want to be. It's like it's, and it's, it's like it's crazy. You, at to this me. point, people try to play. They 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 like they see it. It's just a game, so they try to play that game instead of being a game changer. Yeah, exactly. No, you know, I, I instead that. of being a game that. changer, that was, that was dope. because yeah, with me, dope. I'm just like I sit back and I just be like, yo, like, uh, even when I start working on my social media, and I, I we, I, it, it, it kind of like blew up fast when it mm-hmm. come down to not. I'm not talking about myself. I'm just talking about how people start moving, mm-hmm. you know, and how they maneuver their way through things. But I knew that that couldn't be me. Yeah, you can right. still, and I'm here to represent the ladies and just mm-hmm. be like, you know what, you can still be fine. <laughs> and a grinder at the same time yeah. equally yeah you know and they gonna see you build your brand mm. from scratch yeah. they right. gonna see you keep elevating each day I'm not here pretending yeah I'm not a pretender I'm sorry I don't know right. how to do that I right. know how to be real yeah. authentic organic yeah. and show you exactly what it what it takes each day I'm gonna get up and you gonna see me in that gym oh even not that or you gonna see these results you gonna yeah. see something yeah and not to mention, let me open up the door a little bit because I'd never really like to show too much of my personality and stuff like that mm-hmm. at first. But I'm just like, okay, well, I opened, the do- uh, opened up the door of entrepreneurship alone itself. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, well, I, only, I don't only just do fitness. <laughs> I don't only just do health. You know, I start pushing health more, uh, you know, just like the back ends of like, you know, juicings, detoxings. I've been doing that for some years now, like mm-hmm. by like five or six years. And I was just like, well, I was been doing this. You just go right back down to 2016 or 15. I been was doing this. I, I was saying this a long time ago, right? You know, and showing more of my personality and what I wanted, what I've been been wanting to show. I just didn't know how to show it, and that's when mm-hmm. it comes down to the, the confidence side. I was just like, I didn't want people to look at me as I'm, or she's just a just a pretty girl, you know. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm not gonna say women have it hard because we really have it easy. So, especially in the social media world, you know, mm. like some people, some men, it's like, yo, it's so hard for men to, men, we, we have a really hard because, you know, that's just what it is. Mm. For me, I'm just like, okay, even if I get to a certain level and hit one mil one day, I'm still going to be me. I'm still mm. going to show up. You can still call my line and still be like, hey, I, I need you for this. Mm. I've always still wanted to be that person. Mm. And sometimes on social, in the social media world, some people just don't see that as, oh, that's entertainment like mm. authentic and being real isn't entertainment to them sometimes mm. you know and it's i was like it, it is and you're pure you can't, you can't tell. that's some just people, what it is some people literally and it's just being real you can still look cool and still look you know still you can you can stand out the most of anything but mm. that's not what they want to see they want to see some other stuff you know right. which is cool i'm right. like you, but you do that on the back end you you're still stand. inspiring them they see <laughs> they see what tia's you're still inspiring them don't. I, I'm that. not. But I'm not discouraged. I don't get discouraged. I just be like, yeah, well, you know what, you, you know what going. you're on. <laughs> you a game changer. You know, you said that before, and I'm I'm gonna touch back on that on that topic just what? because, <laughs> you know, like you said, you know, some people are here playing this game, and some people are game changers. And when it comes to this game, it's, I would say it's like the Matrix. You know, like some people getting caught up in it. Some people just regular players, and you got some people in here who can fly in this game and what exactly what you doing when you taking this stuff to the next level. I, I like to look at it as something that everybody can almost implement into their game. But at the same time, it's so hard because everybody are taking the false icons and the false mo- uh, moguls and stuff like that modules in, in this that. game. And they're taking that and trying to run with it when the eyes are it's so many eyes now. There's so many things for people to see and to look at and for them to go after, you know, like you giving people a reason for them to look at you and, and to mimic their game after you. And a lot of, I feel like a lot of people should. With that being said, real. with that being said, 
all those very valid points because you're very strong and very motivating. What are three ways you can level yourself up every day? Every day. Um, three things you could do every day that will level yourself up, take yourself to the next level. Uh, of course. You know, I'm going to say it again. You know, I'm going to tell you it's a mindset. All right? It's the mindset. What can and you do to get your mindset in the right You can position? literally tell yourself. You, you, at this point, you can't depend on nobody. You can't. The only person that's going to show up for you is you. So really telling yourself, you you know what you you know what you need to do. Affirmations is what you're saying. Of course, affirmations. So of course, I'm just gonna re- I'm literally just gonna relate that at all, and I'm gonna put it into just one mindset, which is why I say mindset all the time. It's your your mentality alone itself. Um, Second thing that you could do, write down your goals. There you go. You, you have, have to see it. You, you got to know what it, it is. You it has to be it. there. Not only that, you got to speak it. You have to see it. You, you have, have to, to be it. willing to cross that shit off yep. at the end of the day. If that shit is not <laughs> crossed off, you didn't do what you needed to do in that day. The third thing? Third thing is take action. There you go. That's all it is. It's really taking action each day. Whether you feel sad, mad, or upset, somebody pissed you off, it's a choice to have that mindset. Like, mm-hmm. it's a choice to sit in that. When we wake up, we just be like, oh, well, I'm going to have a great day. You got to speak it. You got to, like, literally live that. It's not just speaking it to yourself. You got to apply it. Apply that pressure on yourself. No, uh, taking action is definitely probably I've, out of all the three of those points, I feel like that's the most important one because when it comes to life, we do a lot of thinking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Especially when you For a real? cap. You know what I'm saying? Like I knew you was gonna bring that. You know I am a yeah. cap. What's your birthday? Christmas. Mine's December twenty third. We're yeah. cap we're capping in here. Hey, <laughs> I was hey. scared. Hey. Like, I was just like, you have to be some type of you know, yeah. wrong a form of we, earth sign. We had I just thought you, you was you gave me like more of a Virgo vibe though, no, you know? No, no, yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, hey. what? But she was just get like, it. I get up, I do. I'm like, yeah, she sounds she sounds Maybe like we some do type it. of form of earth sign. I just yeah. you know which one. Yeah. You have to do it. Like you yes. stated, you have to yeah. do it. If you action, don't do it, you won't action. get no results. Well, I'm gonna yes. say it again. Full it's the action for me because honestly, when it comes to a lot of different other thing other things you can be doing in your life, you can think about a million different things you can possibly be doing that you may be great at too. That you may be that you may be phenomenal at, um, but if you start something and you have a goal to do something, taking that action with that because we think about a thousand things per day, taking the literal action will eliminate so many other things that you have to that you feel like you may have to accomplish at that point of time because for some people they're they're not accomplishing one thing a day. That's or two things, or three things. So think about if you're able to knock out three things in one day, four things in one day that may benefit you and help you work on your brand. Like, I don't think people know how pivotal that is to do that on a day-to-day basis and what that means because we're talking about by the end of the week, if you're knocking out four, five, six, seven things a day, we talking about we in the hundreds. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to take it over time. Especially with 24 mm-hmm. hours, if your mindset is just taking action, you're going to take it to overtime to where it's almost going to be impossible for you to lose. Exactly. It's 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 damn near impossible. It's de- that's why you got hey. And that's why the faith is important. Yep. Keep your faith because, like, the faith is ultimately the the recipe that you put inside of all your work, inside of everything that you're doing. Because, like, you can't think it's not for nothing, and you can't think it's not going to be blessed. Right. And that's the faith comes in. You got to be be able to. To accept the fact that no, you're blessed. Yeah. You blessed and you put in this work and that you're gonna be alive to see this and that you're gonna live to live through this. Cause we mentioned two great people tonight, Kobe and Nip. And it's sad that they not with us no more. But look how many people they influence with that mindset. Right. And think about how many times that we have to keep going and keep appreciating. We have to appreciate and have that faith. That God's gonna let us be here to eat the fruits of our labor. Right. Most definitely. Because how many people did he did he give that fruit to? Right. That fruit is feeding millions, millions and millions and millions of people. And my man's not here to eat that fruit. So with that being said, you know, he did it. I do it so I can inspire people that I meet and so I can feel better. Why do you go so hard? To impact the world. There I've go. been saying that for since I was 18. I was just like, my goal has always been to impact the world and let literally let them, sh- like, show them 
that you Capricorn know live in this healthy different. active. You know lifestyle. we live different. Capricorns baby. live different. We, we not supposed to wear the guy. We're, di- we're different. We're different. Hey, we do. different we're breeds. Different breeds. Different breeds. You know, and I try. I've, I've stuck to that, and I stuck to that, and it's not a script. I stuck to this life. It's genuine you know? and it's pure. I wake up every single day. I swear to be a better version of myself, exactly. so I can inspire someone else. I post what I post on social media, so I can inspire someone else to be better. I want to be better. All my intentions are pure. I exactly. am driven. Real. I am consistent. You, you know, real Capricorns really real live different. <laughs> hey, look, that's it, what I say. <laughs> I look. I promise you, like the way that. You go about your business the way that you go about everything is true, truly motivational, inspirational. Like it shows so much determination, so much dedication because this is not given from the earth, this is given from God. And then you're also taking that work and you putting it into that talent. You know, I was I was talking about earlier how like rigorous you are and the things that you do, and even like like this is this isn't a game. You know what I'm saying, and and I think that also falls off in the aspect of that you that you are that you do have that faith in yourself, and you do have that faith in God, and I can see I can see that in you. You know what I'm saying that that you're not that this isn't a small purpose type of thing. This is a purpose to affect multiple and millions of people. And that's, that's why different. I love to say that Capricorns live different. We not out here for the small for the small shit. You know what I'm saying? Because like small is like important. To settle. Yeah. Why? Why settle for? We're not gonna allow. Our, we're not gonna fail. You can do and be much more ourselves. We're not gonna fail ourselves, regardless. No, hundred percent. We're not gonna fail we, ourselves. We, we we know ourselves in events, way earlier in events, and you understand what type of person that you are. If you mm-hmm. know you want more, you have to do more. You have to be willing to put in. You have to put in the work, that baby. over time. You have to put overtime. in the, overtime, not the work. You got to put in the overtime because overtime. if you don't put in the overtime and you're, then what are you doing? Exactly. You, what are you doing? You got to be willing to take risk uh, on the weekends. I'm sorry. Come I don't want to go out and party. I'd rather go hey. and write my goals down and, and try to figure out what, what, what big next move is going to make more sense. With that and being said, think, <laughs> ta- hey, Taylor, low key, people think that's low key a bad thing. No, people think that's low key something that you should probably spend. You know, sorry for all my video gamers out there and sorry for all my people who focus on so many other things like drinking or smoking or doing other things. It's okay to enjoy I actually time dealt time, with you know? I actually dealt with this before. Like when I was playing the NFL, when I started rapping, I started dealing with coaches and stuff telling me, hey, you know, spend more time on your playbook or spend more time doing this or doing that. When really, to tell you the truth, only thing I wasn't doing was going home and playing a video game like majority of my teammates would do or going home and doing this. Right. I was focusing on this. And so what... maybe my access time wasn't doing all the other BS. I just wanted something I can focus on and that I actually love and I had passion for. Exactly. You know, so I just think that's, I think that's important for people to know that just because you don't waste your time doing the minuscule things in life that's a lot of people in society do, you know, that this is really about your better self and right. taking yourself to the next level. There you go. You and know that's what, what sets us apart from everyone else. Exactly. That's what sus- sets successful people apart from average people. We're willing to take it to the next level. We're, we're willing to take it there 24-7. We're willing to put in that work all the time. Exactly. So what can we expect next from you, Taylor? Are you already, you know, you got your brand. What, what's next for you? Just dropping this 2022 collection. Let's get it. There you go. We already, we already, you know, released the the app, which was the biggest, biggest, you know, one of my biggest goals there was. You go know? crazy. And Congratulations. Um, now it's just really keep elevating the brand each day. What can we follow you at on Instagram? <laughs> you can <laughs> you can either type in Coach Taylor B or you can type in I'm Taylor B. Okay. Yes. Hey. You can you can find me at Deanna Rich Star. Real quick, Taylor, just keep being authentic, keep being you, keep going hard. You know, you're inspiring people. You know, go crazy all the time. The it's universe needs us. Go crazy. Of course. I'm happy. <laughs> the world is I'm happy hands. to have you on the <laughs> show today. <laughs> I'm happy to have you here. Like Thanks. you, definitely a true inspiration. Yep. Thank you. you know what I mean? Not only to females. But to male audience too, because you definitely whooped my ass that day in training. He yeah. said it. He said it from the go. Hey look, but, <laughs> hey, look, you know. 
With all that being said, y'all have just tuned in to the Do It All podcast with your boy Jessica Capri, Deanna Rich Style, with our special guest Taylor B. Yep. Thank you for pulling up on us today. Always, yes. always. And hey, look, you welcome back anytime you want to come oh, back. Absolutely. Come on now. And look, just next to share time I story. Hey, look, <laughs> come on now. Hey, look, cap type energy. You know what I'm saying? Cap Keep me in the energy. light, baby. Keep come on, the light. let's go. Thank you for being here. Yep. You know we it, out. Baby. You know it. I do it all, yeah, I do it all, yeah, I do it from the hood, I seen it all, moves to the birds, I got it all.